Well, it's, you'd probably be surprised that I haven't brought this up by now, and I'm not going to bring it up too much because you'll probably been asked this since you're blue in the face about the whole uh, Julia incident, but I'm more so specifically going to ask you, not necessarily about the incident itself, but did you happen to watch like the documentary series, like the part that they talked about that by any chance? Well, basically, like they asked her um, about the situation, and she said if because you were Wait, too... Wait, she... She spoke about it in the documentary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was on there. Now I have to go watch it. I mean, I watched the first episode or like the first, yeah, the first episode, but I never Mm -hmm. went back to watch more. Not that I didn't like it, but I just didn't find the time. Yeah. Yeah. She said that um, because it was two women up there, that that's why the situation was taken more seriously. But had it been like two males that we would have not been talking about it the same way. I want to know, like, kind of your thoughts on that. Well, I'm just confused. Like, sometimes I hear that she regrets it, and then sometimes I hear that she says shit like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, do you regret it, or do you? would you do it all over again? Like, knowing what you know now. So It's kind of one of those things, like, because you got caught, you feel bad, but... You know what yeah, I mean? But, but it was just dumb. Like, and I've heard of other challengers... Actually, Derek, I'll say it out loud. Derek, in one of his, I was listening to a podcast and he was talking about the whole incident and saying that like there was a, like a net down below that nothing bad would have had to happen to me. And I'm like, since when do you do challenges with circus nets? There's no freaking netting. It's concrete. <laughs> so was, whoever, was he even there? I don't think he was even there. I don't think he was there, but I think maybe someone told him that. Oh. You know, so he was uh, putting that out there, but that's right. not the case. Like, it's definitely not the case. There were no nuts. And I do think that, you know, in the game, it's very easy to get, like, in the heat, like, of the competition and and only see, do anything to win, you know? Um, so I can see how someone could be overcome in the moment to try to do anything to win. And her team did put a lot of pressure on her to win. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think that like, well, actually, no, she actually had to, her job in that heat, because we were the last, her and I were the last heat, and her job was to disqualify me. So her team did tell her, like, you either have to beat her by a lot or you have to disqualify her. Right. Um, and the only way to disqualify me would be to make me fall off mm-hmm. in the middle, like when they're doing that little fighting thing. So basically, let me explain how, how it all went down. We started on two different balconies, 19 stories above ground. And then the the lines crisscrossed in the middle and then ended up in two other balconies on the opposite side of the, of the hotel. Mm-hmm. When, when the contestants would meet in the middle, if they met there like around the same time, then one contestant can try to push the other person off to get them disqualified. And then you win your heat, you mm-hmm. know? And so, or you could just race it and get to the other side and then it's based on time. So my team was so far ahead of the other team so the, the bad guys were so far ahead of the good guys that she needed to disqualify me in order for them to win. Mm. So it was like life or death for her. It well, was no, life no or pun death. intended. Right, 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 right. So there was a lot of pressure behind it. But there was also a lot of time for her to stop because there were a lot of people on production, on her team, on my team that were in the, they were basically stationed in the balconies that where we would end up, mm-hmm. right? So my team, the balcony, because I'm crossing, so the balcony where I would end up, they were in that hotel room and in that balcony. And then her team was in that balcony in the hotel room. Dave Mira, I want to say, was maybe the host. Yeah. yeah, the host. He was maybe on her balcony or maybe he had his own balcony. I don't know. But, I mean, everyone, including Dave Mira, including the camera people, the sound people, the producers, Everyone was telling her to let go of me, to let go of my safety like harness. And she Mm -hmm. just tugging at it. So at some point, 
it doesn't matter how how much you want to win and the pressure of winning or you know being in the middle of competition all the adrenaline at some point you listen to the voices screaming at you and she just didn't and they literally had to just pull us away from each other do, do you still get like any type of anxiety or like emotions that fill you if you watch that clip back because I know it's traumatic at the time but like when you watch it back now or like see any short blips of it do, do you feel any type of like chills over it still um sometimes I'm like damn that was scarier you know um but I think I think I'm more uh affected by the people why if someone's watching it with me like what their, to see their, re- uh, yeah. their reaction to it like always gets me like a little you know like riled up but when I watch it I'm just like oh well I, maybe it's because I've seen it also so many times like that is the I've one I've been asked about seen. it a million times too yeah that is the one cl- clip that I've seen so much of me mm-hmm. uh, so I feel like I'm a little desensitized to it if that makes any sense uh yeah I'm more like when I think back to that moment I'm more upset that like I, when I crossed her on like the ground, like when we were on the ground, like I didn't, I didn't confront her, you know, I'm more, I like, I live more in like that regret. Like why didn't, like, I was just so angry and so heated that I was just like, I want, I don't want to see this person, you know? Um, but, but yeah, I'm pretty sure like, I'm definitely like not holding on to any like, anxiety or PTSD or anything like that from that event. Mm -hmm. Um, I do more or less, like, just like when I hear what she says about it, like, I'm just kind of like, well, whatever, you know? Yeah. It'd probably be something I too would like brush off, but it would slightly irritate me. I feel if I like, this is all just hypothetical. Like this isn't me saying she did or didn't say anything. I'm just saying like, if I were to hear her, like try to defend it, I would kind of feel some type of, you know, slight irritation but yeah I mean it's just like don't defend it just be like yeah I fucked up Mm -hmm. you know like I was I mean I literally just gave her what she should say (laughs) (laughs) pressure on me (laughs) I'm (laughs) giving her all the excuses you know like I understand why someone would have done maybe what she did but at the same time like I think she took it too far Mm -hmm. 